Yo, what up? Today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom Minecraft title text. And to do so, we're going to need a program called Blockbench. So install it for whatever system you're using. And we'll install it in just a minute here. But what it basically is, is a low poly modeling software. And uh, I already read this before the video, wink wink. Uh, but it's absolutely free. It takes up less than a gigabyte of storage. It's really a blessing in disguise for uh, Minecraft related functions. Because as you can see here, it's got a bunch of Minecraft stuff implemented from the get-go. Uh, but what we need is going to be under File, under Plugins, and right there, Minecraft Title Generator. We're going to install this add-on, and boom bop bow, it's going to be at the bottom of our list now. <laughs> Whoa, that rhymed. Uh, but all we have to do is hit Create New Minecraft Title, and we're already inside of the Generator GUI in less than a minute of the video. Presumably, I'm not keeping count. But uh, you can type whatever you want over here. I'm just going to type the original Minecraft so we can compare it to the original logo and hit finish. And there we have it. Uh, it's almost identical to the real one. Uh, you may have noticed that it doesn't have the creeper A if you want to do that. Uh, maybe I shouldn't use shortcuts actually. Uh, to delete this one and create a new one, we're going to hover over this Minecraft text, hit delete, and hit these uh, duo T's right here and we can create a new one. Um, but all we have to do to change it to a Creeper A is make it a capital A, and voila. Now we have a Creeper A. And of course this is, this is Blockbench, it's a modeling program. If you want to distort these further, you can mess with these uh, however you want. But of course if you're new to this program, I would just stick uh, with uh, the defaults. But there are many default options that we can play around with as well. Uh, as you can see, okay this capital A is bugging me the heck out, I'm just going to do all caps. But there's many other options as well. Uh, here's uh, another different font. I think this is used for Bedrock Edition, uh, Minecraft 10 Outline. Um, I'm not sure what that one is for. Maybe Dungeons or something. But there's many different things to choose from. But let's try to create our own update text, if that makes sense. So we'll have Minecraft, and then under that it'll say version blah blah blah, and then the blank update. Uh, we'll figure it out along the way. But um. Let's do the Minecraft 10 font. I kind of like that one. And as you can see, we have many different textures to choose from. These are all like pre-generated, uh, not pre-generated, but there's, they are presets uh, made from the Blockbench system. But there's also tileables, which are basically block textures from the game. And you have all of the different variants as well. Uh, you can add your own custom gradient, or you could import your own texture from a file as well. I'm just gonna stick with one of the presets. Um, and I think this create mod one looks pretty cool. And additionally, if these textures aren't uh, don't satisfy you enough, you can go into overlay and add additional ones. So you see these overlays are just more subtle textures on top of them. As you can see, the cartoon adds this little like a uh, flash of light. Uh, there's shine, there's outline. There's a bunch of other ones. Uh, I think we should stick with the cartoon one. I think that's a nice look. Uh, once again, there's other blending options. Uh, for the most part, I'm just, I'm not going to touch these either way over my head right now. Um, but there's also a style tab. Uh, usually I don't touch this one as well, uh, because you can kind of do all of these in like post-editing software. But they are nice that they're included by default as well. Actually, I kind of like the blue one. It reminds me of a wintery update. Uh, maybe we'll stick with that. And uh, then there's settings as well. Uh, this is uh, more detailed stuff like character spacing, row spacing, and scale. Um, once again, I don't touch it as much, but let's generate this. And I think that looks pretty neat. And now let's generate some text underneath. And to do that, there's two ways of going about it, really. So let's say the winter update. I think that'll look pretty cool. So you can either mess with the angle here and do bottom. And as you can see, it'll show up underneath like a, this is sitting on top of the winter update basically but there's another option of doing it as well where instead of doing bottom we keep it on top but we move the row down though as you can see this is basically row zero and we're going to be placing it underneath so they're both at the same angle and i kind of i usually like this i think it looks more cohesive uh, versus uh, having it underneath but that's just my personal preference and Let's add a different texture, actually. We'll keep it text row underneath, but let's make it something friendlier or something different. That's a pretty cool one, winter. 
It's, I think we have the hue <laughs> turned up all the way still. Um, but let's use that one and maybe add a shine effect. And we'll hit finish. And there we have it. We have two different types of blues. And something else that you can do if you want certain words of your text to be different, all we have to do is duplicate it. And by duplicating it, we're just doing the same exact presets. And let's do uh, simplicity. Is that supposed to be spelled wrong? <laughs> well, it doesn't even matter. But we're going to generate it. And as you can see, they, they overlay each other. And all we have to do is delete the words we don't want. So I'm going to delete winter and that'll make it show up um, because since they were layered on top of each other, if I delete the top layer, then it'll delete that one. Um, it kind of makes sense, I guess. <laughs> but uh, let's add one more thing. Uh, update version. Oh, what version are we on right now? I play on 1.21. Let's just do 1.30 to be safe. <laughs> but maybe let's do this Minecraft 5 block. And I like that live font, so let's keep it on live. And we're going to keep this on zero, and we're going to do small. And this is basically going to be uh, text in the middle. Well, right now it's not really in the middle. But we can move this, as I said. It was a modeling program. You can change it however you want. And if you don't like dragging with the mouse, you can also change these values up here. As you can see, they change when I move them. I'm just going to put that in the front and I'm going to go to render position camera to make it all centered and yeah not not the best graphic design uh really but it sh it shows off a lot of the features of the program and of course uh if you want to export these you can hit render and all you have to do is click that and it'll give you a bunch of different options background color if you want that on or off padding increases um uh, what's uh, the, the transparency on the sides uh, you can render it square, custom. I think it has like Minecraft title textures uh, importing as well, but I've never messed with that. And one last thing to note, uh, I usually render this at 2K with anti-aliasing on. Uh, you can turn it off and you know what? Let me just show you what the differences are real quick. Uh, so this is anti-aliasing on. And I'm just going to paste this here real quick. And now I'm going to turn it off. And I'll paste that right on top. Oh, my mouse is gonna die. I gotta hurry up. Uh, but as you can see, this is anti-aliasing on, and as you can see, it's uh, got this like shading effect using different opacities. But with it turned off, it's all one solid black outline. So I kind of like it when it's different opacities. It adds some sort of depth. But that's once again just a personal preference. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, bye.